Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Pat Bavon Ratwet, and I'm currently a PGY4 orthopedic surgery resident at Hospital for Special Surgery in New York. I'm speaking to you about my JBJS article, Identification of Novel Genetic Markers for the Risk of Spinal Pathologies, a Genome-Wide Association Study of Two Biobanks. I would like to thank my collaborators as well as JBJS for allowing us to highlight our work in this author insights series. So first off, what led us to want to do this research? My co-authors and I were interested in exploring for any associations between genetic markers and risk of developing common spinal pathologies as we believe this would eventually allow a better understanding of the underlying mechanism of disease development. While there have been previous small sample studies reporting some associations, we wanted to further explore this using a larger sample size. That was why we chose to use the UK Biobank as this allowed us to utilize a sample size of over 300,000 patients. There were several interesting findings from the current study. The finding that surprised us most was the strong association between certain genetic markers and risk of pseudoarthrosis after fusion. Pseudoarthrosis is a well-known complication after spinal fusion that is associated with high costs for revision surgery. There are well-known risk factors for this complication, such as smoking. However, even after controlling for this confounder, along with several others, the current study still was able to identify certain genetic markers that were strongly associated with pseudoarthrosis. This is an exciting finding for us as this may eventually allow researchers greater insight into what drives development of this post-surgical complication. I think the most important questions unanswered by our study is what functions do these identified genes serve in disease development? Although we were able to identify certain genetic markers associated with these common spinal pathologies, we do not know exactly how these markers drive disease development. Therefore, we think future directions for this work should include functional studies aimed at determining the causal genetic variants and biological mechanisms underlying their observed associations with disease risk. Thank you again to JBJS for allowing us to highlight our work in this author insights series.